Good morning, my name is Captain Koki Mutungi with Kenya Airways. With me this morning is First Officer Paula Morari and we'll be flying the Dreamliner, the Boeing 787 to Kinshasa in the Democratic Republic of Congo. This is our dispatch area. It's basically where we come and pick up our weather and uh, look at our flight plan for the route to expect today and any information that we need to have for the route we got like things like weather and not notices to airmen and this is where we decide the fuel and how we're going to carry on the flight weather looks good uh, from here to Kinshasa um, nothing significant en route um, notices to airmen a few notams we've gone through those um, let's see Yep, gone through those, everything looks good. We have decided on the amount of fuel we're going to take. I think we're all set and ready to go. Good morning again. Um, my name is First Officer Paula, as introduced to you by Captain Mutungi. I'll be the first officer on the flight to Kinshasa on the Dreamliner. We are just about to do the walk around, the pre-flight around the aircraft, so come with me. Uh, we normally start the pre-flight around the nose area. We look at the nose cone, no damage, no visual anything is wrong. Um, the nose wheel well area is where we have the lines, the hydraulics and the gear. We look at the tire condition, the wear, the nose gear doors, they should be in place, not moving. And this is the area, the nose wheel well control panel for the engineer. Everything looks fine and clean. The hydraulic lines are good. Electric cables are fine. We come around to the right side. We have the pitot probes. General condition of the fuselage. The right hand side, all good. The, the door to the access for the electronic uh, bay is flush. We look at the cargo area, the doors also not damaged, in good condition, the loading is going on. And um, we have the static port on the fuselage. We are supposed to check that the, it's, it's blank, it's not, um, it doesn't have any tape over it or anything. Uh, general condition on the right hand side, fuselage. The leading edge of the wing, we have the lights and uh, we have the cabin air compressor inlets and the passenger uh, service door on the right. This is the engine intake, general condition of the blades, all looking good, no chips, no dents, and the whole inlet area. We have static ports on the right as well not blocked, holes are clear, and then we go around to the right side of the wing. Right side looks fine as well. We have the static port on the right as well, not blocked. General condition of the cowling. Uh, we have some repairs going on here, but this is not bad for the flight at all. We have the engineer doing his oil servicing right now. He's chopping up the aircraft has just come from another flight, so he's just chopping up um, the oil. Leading edge of the wing, no dents, no nicks, no hicks, um, and no signs of any bad strike. Everything looks fine. The whole leading edge from the wing root to the wing tip. We check the lights. The navigation lights on the right side are green, and on the left side are red. Wing tip looks fine. Um, the trailing edge of the wing, the aileron look fine, the flaps look fine. And from where I'm standing, I'm able to see the whole aircraft, a general overview um, of the condition of the fuselage. I walk back into the wheel well on the right side. I'm going to look at the tire condition, the brakes, and the whole wheel well area. I look at the brake wear indicator. This is them. They are good. Uh, when they are worn out, they normally they normally go down up to here. But these are pretty good. We have electric brakes on this aircraft, so we don't have any hydraulic lines going into the brakes. General condition looks good. No leakages, and uh, everything looks okay. The wheel well area clear, clear of um, damage, and clear of any foreign objects. 
the tire condition, the treads are good. No flat spots, no threads showing. And we check the general condition of all the tires. Once again, the brake wear indicators. Perfect. Super brakes, still a brand new aircraft. And from where I'm standing, I'm able to see the whole wheel, um, the main wheel, right wheel, linkages, everything looks good. While I'm here, I check underneath the aircraft and we have the Ramia turbine here which should be flush. The door is not open and this is fine. I pass underneath. Check the general condition of the antenna. We have several underneath the aircraft. And then I check the horizontal stabilizer and the vertical stabilizer. Leading edge looks fine. No damage and no signs of bad strike, nothing, nothing to write from about. The trailing edge, the elevator. What we have there is a static discharge wick. None of them is missing. Everything looks fine. And from where I'm standing, I'm able to see the whole aircraft underneath the belly. The tail cone, the APU is on right now, a bit noisy, and I'm able to see both wing tips. We have the fueling going on on the left hand side. We have the navigation lights working. Um, on the tail, they are white. Right is green, red is left. Once again, the tail plane on the right side, leading edge looks fine, elevator looks fine, static discharge wigs are all there, none is missing. Um, we check the general fuselage area. The doors are closed, flush, windows look clear, no damage from where we are standing. When we come back to the wheel well area, we previously looked at the right wheel well, and now we look at the left wheel well. We check for the brake condition, the tire condition, the wear, the treads are good. The brake wear indicators are still fine, same as the other side. The condition of the whole wheel, there's no leakages, no damage, and nothing loose, nothing missing. The four tires, condition good, and we check once again um, for all the pipes. And we are happy with this side so far. Same here, the brake wear indicators for the front um, left two wheels. The tire condition is good and the wheel well doors look fine, they are not blocked and they are not, um, they are fixed. Fueling is going on right now, so we have this, is what they used to add, the cable they used to, to ground the aircraft when they are fueling. Underneath the left wing we check all the panels, panels secure, flash, our flaps are up, normally for the trip flight the flaps are up. All doors are clear, closed. Fueling bars are going on. For this flight, we're going to be taking 30, about 34,400 um, kilos. Okay, the left wind tip, trailing edge, flaps, leading edge, red light, navigation light. And from here, once again, I can check the whole aircraft. And I'm happy with the condition. On the top, we have some um, antennas. For the radios as well same as the ones on the bottom condition looks good so the leading edge of the left wing all the way from the wing tip to the wing root and while i'm here i check the condition of the engine the left engine the cowling looks good the static port on the left is not blocked and from the back I can see there's no obstruction, no signs of a bad strike, no signs of any damage from the previous flight. All the panels secure, access panels for the engineers on both sides. And on this side, the static port is fine. And we also have the engineer topping up oil on this side. So the engineer is doing the same thing he did on the other engine. 
Is it stopping up or is it because it came from a long flight? While I'm here, I'm going to check the belly again and the inlet for the cabin air compressor. And once again, the static ports are all clear. No tapes, not blocked. And the position, the light glass is not broken and the leading edge is fine. The last thing I check is the, the left engine intake. All the blades look fine, not damaged, no nicks, no dents, and the spinner, the spinner for the blades. We have the white line there that they say scares buds. Well, it makes the spinner visible, so we try to avoid bud strikes by virtue of the white line. Um, that is all for the free flight. I hope you enjoyed the free flight. Welcome to the fly deck of the Boeing 787-800. Uh, this morning flying to Kinshasa, I have already set up the cockpit for the departure. As you can see, this is the navigation display. The display we have on right now is the parking bay. We're parked at stand number seven. That's what we have there. For the panel here, we call it the MCP. I have set up, um, this is the initial heading, runway heading. We'll be climbing to 38,000 feet. I've set up the FMC for our route today, all the way with our uh, standard instrument departure and uh, arrival into Kinshasa. We have this beautiful piece of equipment here, the electronic flight bag. Well, I have put in uh, the performance information and it will help us calculate our uh, numbers for takeoff and stuff like that. It also has uh, helped us get rid of all the paperwork we used to have in the cockpit before. So we have all our charts and plates in here. So I've also configured it for the approach we're going to be doing and the departure we'll be doing as well. So once we're done with this and Paul I settled, we'll go out and brief with the crew and then you're welcome back in again. The flight checklist oxygen. Tested 100%. Tested 100% right. Flight instrument. Okay, headings of 176. One, twice, five times, five times. Then I have 1022, 5,300 feet twice. I have a heading of 176, can you transfer to 5300 is checked, EFP pre-flight. Pre-flight complete. Completed on the right, pre-flight checklist is complete. Thank you. Okay, good morning everyone. Good morning. Uh, I'll be your captain on today's flight 554 to Kinshasa. With me, First Officer Paula. And um, I'll give Rachel the opportunity to introduce all of you for the benefit of those who don't know each other. Okay, great. So the brief for today for Kinshasa. Um, the weather is good both in Nairobi and our departure alternate for both return and uh, departure and return to Nairobi. The aircraft is good. The only ADD we have is uh, captain's uh, speaker is US. Otherwise, not terms. There's nothing affecting us. Just a few closures, but that's affecting the remote parking base. So for We are parked at stand number seven, straight for, we'll push back and taxi out by Juliet, Golf and Kilo to the holding point runway 06. This will be a standard company left seat takeoff. We shall reject for any master caution below 80 knots. Between 80 knots and B1, we'll reject for fire, failure, separation, obstruction on the runway, or many predictive wind shear, or anything that may render the aircraft unsafe to fly. In case of stop, I will call reject, close thrust levers and deploy speed brakes. You will monitor deceleration and liaise with ATC and no action until we come to a stop and parking brake is set. We'll then do the recall items followed by the non-normal checklist on my command. After V1, we will proceed with the takeoff and no action below 1,000 feet. Apart from silencing oral warnings, raising the gear and selecting max thrust if required. For 
trust related malfunctions requiring memory items, we shall clean up at 400 feet. Do the memory items and the checklist there, clean up and the checklist thereafter. For any other malfunction, we'll continue climb to 1500 feet. Be aware of crane capacitation at all times. In case we need to come back for any reason, we'll just uh, look at our situation. Probably decide to hold a Tango Hotel, sort ourselves out, and come in for an ILS. Otherwise, uh, for our departure today, we expect an ECBAD 2 Bravo departure. The chart is 10-3 Hotel, 17th January 2014. Um, transition altitude will be 9,000 feet, and the seats include minimum noise routing. MSS based on November Victor VOR from our initial sector of departure going anti-clockwise will be to the northeast 8,100, northwest 9,600, southwest 9,100, and the remaining sector at 8,000 feet. For our SID, which is the ECBAD, says climb straight ahead to flight level 100 or above, which we have set in the FMC, turn left to ECBAD and climb to the cleared flight level. So I have set flight level 380 subject to change depending on the clearance. Otherwise, unless you have any questions, my brief is complete. No questions. A takeoff gross weight of 180894 kilos mm -hmm. with a 0146 decimal 4. It's a 787 8 Gen X1 B7075 engine, uh, CG28 decimal 1. Flaps 5, acceleration altitude 1000 feet, runway 06. Takeoff gross weight of 180894. D rated uh, 10, 90.1, temperature 46 degrees um, centigrade, V1160, VR163, V2168, VREF30147. That's okay, you can send it. Send it. 160, 163, 168, take up cross rate 28.9, 28%, and I have 350 at 4 knots. That's okay, you can request that clearance, please. Okay. Uh, good morning, Kenya 554. Confirm that's Kenya 554. I confirm Kenya 554. Go ahead. Kenya 554 request start up flight level 304 Kinshasa, 5 NC Kilo Zulu Echo, routing via Kilo November Mike. Roger, start up route 380. Kenya 554. Thank you. Push, please. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, the flight deck your captain. My name is Irene Mutungi. For me, the flight deck is first officer Paula Kahuho, and in the cabin, the crew are led by flight passer Rachel Kamau and flight passer Rachel Inumili. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you aboard this flight 554 to Kinshasa. We're just now getting our clearances and will shortly be departing. Otherwise, settle down and I'll talk to you in the in cruise. Thank you. Kenya 554 apron control, good morning. Kenya 554 pack at stand 7, request push pack destination in Shasta. 5 inch kilo Zulu Echo, 115 passengers, 11 crew. 554, 554 Roger, clear push. Clear push, Kenya 554. Checklist. Thank you very much, as briefed. Okay, mm -hmm. before start checklist, passenger signs, I have it on. Fuel panel. Control Kenya, 350. MCP. We have 168053 and 380. Checks, take off speed. Speed set at V1160, VR163 and V2168. Checks. CDU pre flight. Completed. The first start checklist is complete okay. and we are clear to push. Ground from flight deck. Go ahead, please. We've been cleared to start and push. Go ahead, you check. Road beacon is on. Engines will be clear when out of pay and uh, those are locked and cross checked, uh, ready for pushback. Clear to push. Okay, can I release the brakes? Yes, you may. Brakes are released, you can commence push. Oh, yeah.
can break is set and we have two normal starts. You can clear your equipment and signal to the left. Thank you and bye-bye. Raja, good morning. Checklist. APU is off, anti-ice is all auto. Recall, I have sad voice and tickers off. Okay. Console. Flight control. Checked. Ground equipment. Clear. Right is clear before taxi checklist is complete. Request taxi, please. Okay. Ground control, Kenya 554, request taxi. Kenya 554, clear taxi via hotel before golf contact tower 187. Taxi at via hotel before golf tower 187, Kenya 554. Okay, we are clear taxi, hotel fast right. Lights please. Lights are on, right is clear. Okay, left is clear. Thanks. So, fast right by hotel. Fast right hotel, tower 187. Okay. Clear. Kenya 554, copy clearance. Go ahead. Clear 380 to the Kilo November Mike, departure 06, right turn to Uplook. Kenya 554 is clear, Lala 380 Kilo November Mike, departure 06, right turn to Uplook. That is correct. Port ready. Roll call, can you find my phone? Okay, Captain, we are clear to flight level 380, mm -hmm. which is set to Kilo right. November Mike. Departure clear, three, 06, it's a right turn direct to Mike, Okay, so I'll right take Elna. Uh, sorry, heading select. Seven. And you'll turn me right to add upload, and then you'll execute it in there. Okay, so copy. Clear level 380, okay. Right is clear on Kilo. Thank you, and left is clear. Right, your number two behind the Dreamliner. Kenya 470. Kenya 554, line up, clear takeoff, runway 06, window 040, 07 up. Line up, clear takeoff, runway 06, Kenya 554. Before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist, takeoff briefing. Is reviewed, right turn on heading select to upload. Checks, cabin ready and PA. It's yes. confirmed. Before takeoff checklist is complete, we are cleared for takeoff. Thank you. you. Are noted. Right is clear on the runway. Proceed holding point, report ready. The holding point will call you ready. Can you 470? Thrust rep, check. Thrust set, check. Eighty knots, check. Hold. Can you another heading? Yes, please. Right on, so there's no space in the 554. 
Have a good one, Paula. Thank you. Bye bye. Heading select. Okay, heading select to upload. Radar, good morning. Kenya 554 with you. Coming to 7500 for the three radio. Right, thanks, Kenya 554. Uh, good morning, radar code 20 departure. Continue client flight about 380. Direct to upload. Okay, client flight about 380. Flaps coming up. Okay, flaps up. up. Paola. Execute upload. Execute. And Elnav is Elnav, available. please. Elnav out. Elnav engaged. Thank you. Standard 97 now. Standard 97 cross check. 100 climbing. We have to take off checks and passenger signs can go to auto. We have to take off checks, lights are off, passenger signs is on auto. After take off checklist is complete. Thank you. Go ahead. Hey, boy, I took. Flying over my house. Uh, stand by, can you take your one? Sir, Tango 48, descend 100. Radar, good morning, Kenya 470, climbing up here. Kenya 470. Yeah, control Kenya 554 on the 123 decimal speed. Yeah, 554, control, go ahead. Kenya 554, Nairobi, Kenya 580. Check the position, up log 053. I'm making. Six four zero five five zero, both side zero six zero four, kilo November Mike zero six zero nine, and uh, destination zero eight zero seven. We are uh, Bravo seven eight seven five N C, kilo Zulu Echo. Farm registration five kilo Zulu Echo. I confirm. Five five four. Five five four. Entire five level three eighty zero report to you to and uh, we estimate we on ground Kinshasa at 7 minutes past 10 o'clock local time, which is ahead of schedule. For our routing today, we, we are currently over Tanzanian airspace. We will be flying over Rwandese airspace before we enter the Democratic Republic of Congo. We anticipate light to moderate turbulence on route, so I'd advise you to keep your seat belts fastened while seated. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and enjoy our cabin services. And I'll talk to you before we begin descent to pass on the weather for Kinshasa. Thank you. Well, uh, we're currently cruising at 38,000 feet now, headed toward Kinshasa. We've just crossed over into Tanzanian airspace. This here is our airway map, which we formerly had on charts, but we have everything in here now. As you can see, the yellow highlighted is our route that we're following. This is an airway, basically it's like a road in the sky, what we follow as we go into our destination. Um, you see the, the green line over here? Let me reduce the zoom. 
this is a different airspace. It divides the different airspaces. As you can see now, we're currently over Tanzanian airspace, and right behind us is the Kenyan airspace. And then the points in bold letters, those are our waypoints, and we use the, we're use we going to call the different controls that we're flying over just to let them know where we are. So at any one point, although they have radar in some airspaces, they know where we are at any one point based on when we call the positions you can see in the bold letters. Um, once again, I'm Captain Koki Mutungi, a captain on the 787. I've uh, been with Kenya Airways uh, coming up to 19 years now. I was the first female pilot that they had. Um, I got into flying from interest I developed at a very young age. I was flying from about two. I was very fortunate. My dad was a pilot with the airline as well, so he'd take us along. And I'm sure by around five years old, I knew that I wanted to be a pilot. And um, grew up telling everyone I wanted to be a pilot, but nobody believed me. Eventually, they realized I was not changing my mind. I didn't have a lot of support from my parents initially because my dad didn't want me to become a pilot, but he was convinced by some of his friends and he changed his mind. And it's been um, an upward, it's been good after that. I initially started at the Kenya School of Flying where I did my PPL and proceeded to the US and did all my other ratings, my CPL and everything else came back to Kenya and applied. I did a little bit of bush flying, just six months before I joined Kenya Airways. And after a very rigorous interview process with Kenya Airways, I was their first female pilot. And here I am today. When I joined Kenya Airways, I was initially flying the Fokker 50. The process here is you work your way up the ranks you start as the first officer seated on the right side and you work your way up the ranks and then when you get to the biggest aircraft in the fleet you move back down and start as a captain and work your way up again so i started on the Fokker 50 then transitioned to the boeing 737 flying the dash 300 700 and 800 after that i flew the 767 still as a first officer and then came back down and started my command as a captain on the 737, again, the entire series. And uh, back to the 767, and now I'm on the Dreamliner. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful aircraft to fly. I think it's so technologically advanced. It's like flying, it's like um, for people on the ground driving a top of the range car. It makes, and it's so much easier. We have so many things to assist us in what we do. It's not like the flying we used to do before. And then there's this little piece of equipment here, the EFB, I think it changed. It's, it's a, it's a, what do I call? It changed a lot in the aviation industry. It made everything a lot neater, a lot easier. And of course, if it's a lot easier, a lot safer. And apart from that, the aircraft is amazing to fly. It handles very well. As you know, the most technologically advanced aircraft we have on the market right now in the aviation industry. To your left now, you can see Lake Victoria. It's the largest freshwater lake in Africa. And we share it between three countries, Tanzania, Uganda, and Kenya. We're currently on the Tanzanian side, coming up to the city of Mwanza. If you look to your left, it's a little fishing town. You should be able to see it. It has an airport and everything. And uh, yeah, basically most of the people around here live off fishing and yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, they get a lot of tilapia and Nile patch fish out of here, mostly for export. And yeah, basically it with little islands, there's plenty of islands on it.
You have control? Okay, approaching Kinshasa, the weather looks good. Um, for the approach, I've set up an Alvas 1 Alpha arrival for an 24. Chart is 10 2 Echo. Uh, 12th October 2007, effective 25th October. Okay. Transition level will be 6 0. MSA is based on Kilo Sierra Alpha VOR, 4,500 all around. So for our routing, on checking over us, we'll leave on 265 degrees, descending to 4,500 feet. Checking overhead big goal at 4,500 as we turn right um, on the arc. And then on leaving big goal, on all the Swan Alpha, start descend 4,000 feet, which is set. We'll then transition on to the localizer chart, localizer Papa, runway 24. Chart is 11-1, 8th August 2014. We have the frequencies at the top, and uh, ILS, sorry, localizer is 1103. Now videos checked. Tango tell, tango tell. Okay, it's uh, on park. And your final approach cost 241. And minimum altitude at the outer marker 2550 feet. Our MDA will be 1470. Set on the left. Okay. In case we need to go around for any reason, I'll let you know we're going around. I'll hit the go switches simultaneously putting in power. You give me flap 20. Positive rate, I'll take gear up. And the procedure is climb on radial 241. Okay, climb on radial 241, 3,500 feet, and turn right to the VOR, or as directed. Turn right VOR, 3,500 feet. We'll do that on L now. Okay, once we're on ground, Kinshasa, Um, thinking we might end up going all the way to the end and backtrack, but I've set, I'll set auto break three in case we can make whiskey, so I doubt it. Say we have full length of the runway, so we'll see. Okay. Apart from that, runway 24 is a right hand circuit, and there are birds in the vicinity. Okay. Our alternate is to Luanda, and I've set that in route two. Okay. So unless you have any questions, my brief is complete. No questions. Okay, just send checks and then you can talk to him. Okay. Okay. Uh, passenger sign is on. Recall, I have data link lost, that voice lost. Okay, Cancel. clear. Notes, none. Mm -hmm. Auto break. Level three. Here. Okay. We get to Kinshasa with 20.4 tons. We need six tons to Luanda, more than enough. Okay. 600 kilos. 167.2. Check. Okay, so 167.1 now, it's changed. Okay. Okay, landing data. Okay, VRF 3142, minimums 1470 set. VRF 3142, bar minimums 1470 set, right? Approach briefing completed. Descent checklist is complete. Thank you. In a 554. 554, go ahead. In a 554, plan number three is your check position in CAC 0729. Roger, report top of descent. The 554 is approaching top of this. Uh, descent initially flat level 340. Descent initially flat level 340. Report leaving 380. Copy initially flat level 340. Report leaving flat level 380. Okay,
Lavella, 200, 200, reach 245 descending. From Tank Station's approach, 1197, very nice landing, bye bye. Approach 1197, bye bye. Approach 1557, bye bye, bye bye. Kenya, 554, Intercept radio. Through Flight Level 225 for 200, intercept radio 070. I'm heading up to it. Establish on radial 070, Charlie. Yes. Crossing radio 074 to intercept radio 070. Continue distance initially, Flight Level 200. Report established on radial 070. Continue distance initially, Flight Level 200. Report established to radial 070. 200, radio 070, okay? Continue this flat level 060. Expect to only report one way 24 via Tango. Report approaching. Okay, continue 060, okay? ILS runway 24 via 10 Where? 10 Cabin is ready. Kenya 2557 estimate over 0806. On run at 14. NCAT 26. Okay, and approach. Elbow 41. Hit 57. Lost me 0903. <coughs> kilo India number 0923. Bravo Kilo Victor 48. J'ai dit le nez de l'avion vers l'ouest et tu prévois la piste 06 pour le départ. Suive derrière le parking vise, il n'y a pas de problème. Ok, behind 1-0, red button 460. Clear runway 24, wind is calm.
200. Forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Well, Red four six two, back track, land up runway Back track, runway two four, right uh, four six two. Manual braking, checks. Eighty knots. Level 060, then normal navigation, climbing to flight level 350. Clear and correct. Uh, maintain for top of the patch. I call you for takeoff. Maintain position with the 462.